Turbocharged engines have gained popularity in recent years for their ability to deliver increased power without a significant increase in fuel consumption. However, despite their touted advantages, small turbo engines have raised questions about their efficiency. While these engines are often marketed as the best of both worlds combining the power of a larger engine with the fuel economy of a smaller one, are they really as efficient as advertised? In this video, we'll delve into why small turbo engines, despite their advantages, may not be as efficient as they seem. The compromise between power and fuel efficiency. Small turbocharged engines promise big power with less fuel usage. But is this really the case? When engineers design a turbo engine, they aim to combine the benefits of a small engine with the power of a larger one. On paper, this sounds great, but in practice, the trade-offs are evident. A turbo engine needs to work harder to deliver power, and this can lead to higher fuel consumption, especially under heavy load or during acceleration. The truth is, small turbo engines often consume more fuel than a naturally aspirated engine when pushed to their limits. The turbocharger requires more fuel to reach optimal boost levels. And when you accelerate quickly, the engine is forced to work harder, burning more fuel in the process. Turbo lag, delaying efficiency. Does turbo lag really matter when you're trying to achieve optimal fuel efficiency? The turbo lag phenomenon is one of the most common drawbacks of small turbocharged engines. Turbo lag is the delay between pressing the throttle and the engine responding with power, which occurs as the turbocharger spools up. In the world of performance and efficiency, this lag isn't just inconvenient, it can also negatively affect fuel economy. While small turbo engines are often marketed as being more fuel efficient, the presence of turbo lag can cause drivers to push the pedal harder to achieve the desired acceleration. This leads to an increase in fuel consumption. In real-world driving, this lag becomes especially noticeable when trying to merge into highway traffic or quickly accelerate from a stop. As drivers compensate for the delay, they end up using more fuel than they would with a naturally aspirated engine. Increased engine wear and tear. Small turbo engines are not built to last forever. The constant strain on the engine can reduce its overall lifespan. The high pressures and temperatures that turbochargers operate under can accelerate engine wear. Turbochargers force more air into the engine's combustion chamber. And while this leads to more power, it also means the engine parts experience more stress. The high temperatures generated by the turbocharger can affect engine components like the pistons, valves, and bearings, leading to increased wear over time. What makes this even more concerning is that these engines require more maintenance. The need for frequent oil changes, checking of turbo components, and additional upkeep to prevent wear can increase the long-term cost of ownership. While small turbo engines are designed to be compact and efficient, the extra maintenance required to keep them running smoothly offsets the savings in fuel efficiency. Complex engine design. The design complexity of small turbo engines is another factor that hinders their overall efficiency. These engines have more components than their naturally aspirated counterparts, such as the turbocharger itself, inner coolers, and specialized valves and sensors. This added complexity means there is more to go wrong and more parts to keep in check. These added components don't just affect maintenance, they can reduce the overall efficiency of the engine as well. The intricate design of a small turbo engine, while improving power output, creates additional friction and heat, ultimately affecting fuel efficiency. Engines with turbochargers require more advanced control systems to manage air and fuel flow, which can sometimes be inefficient, especially in stop-and-go driving. The complexity of maintaining optimal air-to-fuel ratios and managing engine load can result in an engine that works harder to maintain efficiency, thus negating some of the benefits of smaller, turbocharged engines. Overheating risks. Turbo engines, especially smaller ones, are prone to overheating, something that compromises their efficiency. The turbocharger adds a considerable amount of heat to the engine, which is exacerbated when the engine is pushed to higher speeds or more challenging driving conditions. While modern cars are designed with cooling systems to manage the extra heat, smaller turbo engines are often at greater risk due to their compact size and the high temperatures generated by the turbo. What makes this issue more alarming is that overheating can lead to severe engine damage if not properly managed. The heat affects the engine oil, causing it to degrade more quickly 
and reduce its ability to lubricate the engine components. This causes further friction, which ultimately results in more fuel consumption. In the worst case, prolonged overheating can even lead to engine failure, turning what was once a fuel-efficient engine into a money pit. Shorter engine life in small turbocharged engines. Is the long-term durability of a small turbo engine worth the short-term power boost? Small turbocharged engines are often designed for performance and efficiency, but their lifespan can be shorter than that of naturally aspirated engines. Turbo engines generate more heat and pressure, which takes a toll on the engine's internal components. The added strain on these components, particularly the turbocharger itself, means the engine is more likely to fail sooner than a non-turbocharged engine under similar conditions. In the long run, this decreased engine life affects overall cost-effectiveness. Although small turbo engines might seem like a great choice for fuel efficiency, their shorter lifespan means you could end up spending more money on repairs or even replacement. Additionally, parts like the turbo itself can become expensive to replace, negating the initial savings on fuel. Higher operating costs. Are small turbo engines really the fuel efficient option they claim to be? Despite their potential for better power to weight ratios, small turbo engines often have higher operating costs in the long term. Aside from the increased maintenance costs we've already mentioned, turbocharged engines tend to be more expensive to repair than naturally aspirated ones. Components like the turbocharger, intercoolers, and turbo pipes can be costly to replace, and when the engine is subjected to constant high-performance driving, repairs can become more frequent. What's more troubling is that this additional cost often outweighs the fuel savings in the long run. For individuals looking to save money on fuel, the higher operating costs associated with small turbo engines may render them a less efficient choice overall. This hidden cost is often overlooked, making the true efficiency of small turbo engines questionable. Turbo engines are more sensitive to driving styles. Have you ever noticed how small turbo engines behave differently depending on your driving habits? These engines are far more sensitive to changes in driving style compared to naturally aspirated engines. Heavy acceleration, constant high-speed driving, or city traffic stop-and-go driving can put a strain on the engine and significantly reduce its efficiency. When drivers don't adjust their driving style to accommodate a turbocharged engine, they end up consuming more fuel. In some cases, the small turbo engine can behave almost unpredictably when pushed to its limits. Turbo lag, sudden acceleration, and poor driving habits can all contribute to an engine that performs poorly in terms of fuel economy. While these engines are designed to be efficient, they require a specific driving style to deliver the results advertised something many drivers fail to realize. The myth of immediate fuel efficiency. Is the immediate fuel efficiency of small turbo engines all it's cracked up to be? On paper, small turbo engines promise impressive fuel efficiency. However, when tested in real-world conditions, the results don't always match up. When driving at moderate speeds or cruising, small turbo engines may perform well, but once the engine is pushed to accelerate quickly or reach high speeds, the fuel consumption spikes. This burst of fuel consumption is often associated with the engine attempting to reach higher power levels. In fact, small turbo engines often perform better in city driving, but fall short on highways. This makes them less efficient than larger, naturally aspirated engines, which maintain steady fuel consumption even under high speeds. The turbo's need to deliver power at varying speeds can leave drivers wondering increased complexity in emission systems. Are small turbo engines better for the environment? While small turbocharged engines promise to improve fuel efficiency, they often contribute to increased complexity in emission systems. These engines produce more exhaust gases and higher temperatures, which require advanced emissions controls to keep pollutants in check. While this is an effort to meet environmental regulations, the complexity of these systems can actually decrease the overall efficiency of the engine. Thank you for tuning in. If you found this breakdown insightful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting content on the world of cars and engines.